Hello, I'm Lorraine Eyre reporting from uh, Greek Reporter USA and today I have Mr. George Cookies with me. Hello Mr. Cookies. Hello Lorraine. Uh, my first question is, what are you expecting to achieve by being here to the Greek Power Summit? Uh, so, uh, maybe I need to make a statement here just to show yes, that uh, I'm really um, honoured and privileged to be here. I'm also chairman of the Classical Opera Company in London, a magnificent private company. And to, tomorrow we have a performance of Figaro, one of my most favorite uh, Mozartian operas. Uh, yet I've chosen to be here. I'm a proud Greek and I would like to contribute whatever I can uh, to the objectives of this uh, gathering here. Mm -hmm. Do you have any specific ideas in mind about how to attract investors to Greece? I'm sure there are a lot of uh, eminent uh, speakers uh, uh, and people who will be more qualified to, to answer that question. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, would, I would like to help. But the problem, as I see it, is, is not whether there are investors. Investors exist. People mm -hmm. who want to take risks exist. Mm -hmm. I took risks in doing something in my life, so I'm a natural investor. The problem is whether Greece really wants to attract these people or not. Mm -hmm. um, because some of the actions, they don't indicate that that is the, really their, their, their objective. You have a very well-known um, company, Keminos. Correct. And uh, I know that you took a very large risk back then when you took it on board. People advised you, no, leave well alone. Do you think that that's what's needed today in Greece, that more people need to take risks? That's a very penetrating question. Uh, definitely. Uh, what is lacking here is a decision-making capability that it is the result of somebody believing in something. In other words, somebody wants to help Greece or, or a company that they lead and say this is the best way to go forward and they dedicate the resources to do that. Um, I don't think that environment exists today. That's why I'm slightly pessimistic about the, the conference. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will give it my best shot. Yes, I did take risks against expert advice mm -hmm. and I took a bankrupt company in 1993, bought it for $948,000 and it's worth now billions. Mm -hmm. Without risk, there is no return. But it's not so much the return on investment as it is for people to target a successful model by which they solve problems. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, governments, and it's not uh, only Greece here, they have learned to spend without account accountability. Consequently, we have mortgaged the lives of our children, if not our grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Our children, or the next generation, needs to work about 60 hours a week, and to pay about 80 or 90 percent tax, and nobody knows where that money is going because of the excesses of the past few generations. Mm -hmm. What about the um, Greek uh, debt? Has that um, influenced or interfered in your business dealings around the world? Um, not directly. Um, I have a lot of clients in Greece, but um, it has not affected our earning capacity. Um, the, the symptoms, though, of that Greek debt is that a lot of other countries in Europe have similar problems. Portugal, mm -hmm. for instance, Spain, Italy, um, yeah, Ireland, Iceland, mm -hmm. even though it's not part of the European Union. Um, and all of these things indirectly, when you add England and the United States, they don't create an environment that is conducive to growth. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing okay, but suddenly some people decide to go and attack an innocent country. So my business suffers there for a period of time. Mm -hmm. Somebody doesn't manage debt, then suddenly uh, demand contracts. Okay. And um, that way, yes, it does affect me. Does but affect we have had record numbers the last few years, so I cannot say directly it has affected me. Okay, and one last question. Um, if you were to say what success means to you, what does it mean? Hmm. Um, one of the uh, pillars, uh, one of the reasons to explain some of the uh, success that I have enjoyed in life is that um, I'm not nothing really special other than I never targeted money as an objective. Mm. I targeted success as an objective. And my advice to young people is not to be corrupted or impressed by what is happening around us today, because worldwide we have a problem. Mm. We're not a good role model for the next generation. Mm -hmm. We target money 
we target to look good but not to be good mm -hmm. so money without integrity becomes evil mm -hmm. and we've seen a lot of evil actions by politicians um, who have turned this world upside down simply because they lack in integrity so my suggestion to the people is when you start a new business or whatever you do in life it does not matter at what level do it with integrity but never target money let the money be the result of your success the result of you doing well in what you have chosen to mm -hmm. but never target money okay thank you very much mr cookies for being here today very nice to meet you thank, thank you. you very much thank you for having me